Uh, we are talking to Dr. Mohamed uh, Salamawi. Who, Salmawi. 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 Salmawi, who is uh, the uh, president of the Egypt Writers Union. And uh, this uh, magazine is coming to you uh, because of the celebration of the Tibet International Cultural Festival. This cultural festival brought uh, together 150 delegates from several countries uh, around the world. Dr. Mohamed, can you just give us how the idea of doing a festival for the Nile came about? Well, uh, the city of Luxor, which is uh, the old capital of ancient Egypt, uh, it was known as Thebes, uh, now known as Luxor. Thebes was the capital at one time of ancient Egypt, and they used to have an annual festival of arts and uh, uh, a lot of shows, uh, and they used to use the uh, branches of palm trees uh, and uh, there was an attempt uh, to uh, revive this festival in modern times so we thought uh, perhaps the best way to revive it is uh, through uh, creating uh, an international festival arts festival uh, or culture festival if you like with a central conference uh, of writers uh, uh, accompanying this festival. The city of Luxor resorted to the Writers' Union of Egypt to uh, put the program and to organize uh, this uh, festival. We organize it jointly. And we thought the best thing to do is to bring about the writers of uh, the Arab world and of Africa together. Because Luxor is in Egypt, which is an Arab country and also an African country. Luxor is in the south, so it's very much related to uh, the, co the African continent. Uh, but also it is part of the Arab world. So we thought it is very well suited to bring about both sides together. And that is how we found the formula. Now, what would bring both sides together? We thought the Nile would be the best thing because uh, all Africans are proud of the Nile. They are uh, happy that uh, the longest river in the world is in the African continent. And also, uh, many Arab poets have written uh, poems about uh, the River Nile because of its symbolic uh, uh, significance and because of its beauty and because of how it represents uh, Egypt and the Egyptians and has been very closely related to our culture, to our, even to our religion in uh, ancient times. And we thought the best way to uh, celebrate the Nile is not to bring about geologists and uh, politicians and they have their own uh, conferences and their own way of uh, dealing with things but we wanted to deal with the Nile from its um, emotional side from its symbolic side from its intellectual side the meaning uh, of the Nile uh, in our souls, in our conscience. And of course the best people to do that would be the writers and the poets, both of Africa and of the Arab world, uh, who feel that uh, the Nile belongs to them and that they are related to that great river throughout history. Doctor, the Nile has been a history and it remains a history and you conceived this uh, activity putting the Nile culture and Africa together um, can you just tell us how the program articulated until the end 
Well, we, uh, the program includes a number of things. It includes uh, sessions of uh, where people have presented papers on different aspects of the Nile. Uh, the Nile in the poetry of Arab poets was one paper we had. Um, the first attempt to um, control the Nile, the first uh, uh, dam that was built on the Nile, somebody gave us a historical uh, survey of that, and that was back in the 18th century, in modern times, the first attempt in modern times, of course. Um, a good friend of ours from, uh, from uh, uh, Burkina Faso spoke about the mythology of the Nile. Uh, also, the poet uh, Zainabu Diallo from uh, Nigeria, Guinea. Uh, from uh, Guinea, I'm sorry, spoke about, uh, uh, wrote a poem about the Nile and the significance uh, of the Nile. Uh, and we have uh, published a book that includes all these papers and all these contributions, which present a lovely portrait of this great river of which we are all proud. You have also, during this occasion, uh, brought up the idea of uh, putting the two uh, unions of Africa and uh, those in the Arab world together. And uh, this idea aims at uh, organizing exchange visits and uh, study visits. Uh, how do you think this is going to work? Because one part is considered to be an emerging country, uh, a continent, and one part is already far developed from what we see here. So how do you intend to go about with this? especially with funding and could you just tell us who helped you in organizing this festival? We, we all are developing countries in various degrees. There are countries that are more developed than others. But we all belong to the same world. We are the third world. But, uh, and so is Latin America for instance also. But we are much closer together the Arab world and the African continent have always been related throughout history. And I thought this would be a unique occasion uh, to bring both worlds together, to exchange experiences, to listen to each other's uh, uh, writers and poets reading from their own work, uh, hopefully to uh, encourage more translation uh, of works of both sides. Uh, of course this was not easy, but the uh, governorate of Luxor, and the governor of Luxor in particular, who is a man who believes very much in culture and literature, and wants to give uh, his city this cultural aspect, and not just uh, keep it as, uh, you know, the cradle of so many great uh, monuments in stone, he wants it also to have a cultural and intellectual aspect, helped us a great deal. Uh, we also resorted to uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, to the Ministry of Culture, saying here, we, the writers of Egypt, we are uh, creating this conference to bring about writers from Africa and from the Arab world, and how can you help us? So we were able to obtain funds from here and there and uh, uh, that's how the, 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 the uh, festival uh, stood up and was able to uh, achieve uh, this uh, third chapter uh, which I think uh, was a great success. We discovered also that during uh, the tours of the strategic areas like the museum and the public library, uh, the history of Egypt is well documented and this is something that other Africans have to learn, uh, learn from. Uh, how do you go about that? Because uh, getting history of uh, the past in most African countries is difficult, but you have succeeded to keep things 
even right from uh, the 17th and 18th century. Yeah, before Christ. Yeah. Yes, this is true. Uh, you know, uh, the ancient Egyptian civilization uh, is an African civilization. It, uh, it is a civilization that grew up on the African continent by Africans living in we are Africans and the civilization of Egypt is one of the great civilizations that the African continent uh, has known so documenting this uh, civilization is not only for people living in Egypt but it is uh, also for uh, our African brothers who to whom this civilization belongs and uh, in a more general sense it is a civilization that belongs to humanity at large so it is our duty as much as we can to document it and to preserve it and uh, to actually uh, make use of it when we have uh, a lovely festival like this one to be surrounded by all these great monuments as remnants of this uh, one time glorious civilization. The festival went to a close and uh, people are going back home and you are very close to your governor. Can you just tell us what your governor feels after all the festival activities? Because for, for, for many it was their first time of coming to Egypt and it was the governor's uh, first time of meeting some of the Africans too. How, does he, how did he feel? He was uh, very happy we brought him 150 illustrious writers from uh, 10 African countries and uh, uh, 8 uh, Arab countries and uh, uh, they all came here, they admired the place apart from our uh, conference and our sessions they were happy to be in this place and uh, uh, every time they admired the city of Luxor it was a compliment to him and uh, what he has done to, uh, you know, put this uh, city, uh, set it right and to uh, organize it uh, in this way that we have all uh, come to appreciate. Delegates are going back but uh, new openings have come up with partnerships. What is the content of the partnership that uh, the Arab world and the African uh, region is making? This is actually one of the great achievements of this uh, conference. Uh, I think apart from all the valuable research work that was presented in the conference, uh, also the networking and the relations that have uh, taken place between writers from different countries is a great achievement. And also uh, what you have mentioned, the uh, agreements that have been signed between the Writers Union of Egypt which organized this festival and various other uh, unions whose uh, representatives were present in the union like um, yourself uh, the chairperson of the Cameroon Writers, Writers Association and also we have signed an agreement <coughs> with uh, Russia Angola yeah. and with Lebanon and of course all these uh, agreements they are a guarantee that these relations would continue and would not end with uh, the end of this uh, conference that we would have more cooperation uh, between us throughout the coming year. Thank you very much doctor. Thank you.